Prosecutors showed their hand today in the Martin McNeil murder trial. They showed the jury new details of how they believe McNeil killed his wife, Michelle. Those details came to light as an expert was testifying about Michelle's death. But that same expert refused to call her death a homicide. Fox 13's Ben Winslow reports. Michelle died as a result of cardiovascular disease um, with hypertension or high blood pressure and myocarditis or uh, inflammation of the heart. The state medical examiner testified Thursday that Michelle McNeil's death was initially declared natural causes, but police later went to him and said they were investigating it as a murder. I changed, I amended the cause of death um, in this case and added in addition to cardiovascular disease, um, the possibility that drug, and tox drug toxicity may have played a role as well. But the medical examiner still couldn't call Michelle's death a homicide. If drugs were a factor, it was not necessarily a homicide either, correct? No, I couldn't. I did not feel that I could reach a conclusion of homicide. At the end of Dr. Todd Gray's initial testimony, prosecutors revealed more of their theory about how Michelle McNeil died and the role her husband, Dr. Martin McNeil, may have had in it. If you were to learn that the defendant here had told somebody or others that he had uh, drugged up Michelle McNeil and convinced her to get into the tub and held her down for a little bit that ca and it caused her death, would that scenario be consistent with how Michelle McNeil may have died here? Yes, certainly it's possible. That testimony may come from four federal inmates who are scheduled to testify against Dr. McNeil, claiming he gave a jailhouse confession to killing his wife. Now, because their testimony makes them snitches in prison, prosecutors have concern for their safety, and the judge has forbidden disclosure of their identities. She was a lot of things great. you don't remember accurately in this case, right? Meanwhile, the defense grilled Dr. McNeil's daughter, Alexis Summers, for a second day. They accused her of asking a physician friend to get her mother's medical records, a possible violation of federal health privacy laws. She insisted to prosecutors she did nothing wrong. Why were you seeking information as to your mother's death? Because I believed my father killed her. Objection, Your Honor, move to strike. Uh, overruled. Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.